welcome to the world of material science. My name is Professor Bonnet. In this video, we will be talking about lattice types and lattice defects. Crystals, no matter whether they are atomic, ionic or metallic crystals, can be structured in a variety of ways. To describe the structure of crystals, one has to imagine that the center of the particles are connected by lines which creates a three-dimensional lattice. The crystalline structure is characterized by the shape of the smallest repeated unit of this lattice, the so-called unit cell. Here you can see a cubic primitive crystal lattice, which we already learned about in the case of table salt. Here, one atom is located at each corner of a cube. The different unit cells are uniquely identified by the atomic distances A, B and C, which are called lattice constants, and the lattice angles alpha, beta and gamma. The lattice constants of metals are only between 0.25 and 0.5 nanometer, which means that they are smaller than a millionth of a millimeter. Depending on the shape of the lattice cells, we distinguish between seven different crystal systems, of which the cubic, the tetragonal and the hexagonal system are of most importance for metallic materials. The crystal lattice presented up to now, in which atoms are only located on the corners of the unit cell, are called primitive lattices. These are often found in ion lattices, but not in crystal lattices of metallic materials. Here, the unit cells are characterized by additional atoms at the intersection of the plane diagonals or the body diagonals. The most important lattice types for metals are the body-centered cubic, BCC lattice, the face-centered cubic, FCC lattice, and the hexagonal close-packed HCP lattice. In addition to the eight atoms at the corners of the cube, the body-centered cubic lattice has one atom centered at the intersection of the body diagonals. This is why it is called body-centered. Since we have a cubic unit cell here, all interatomic distances are equal, which means A equals B equals C and all angles are equal as well. This means alpha equals beta equals beta, gamma equals 90 degree. The body center cubic lattice is also called a tungsten type, since tungsten is a metal with a BCC lattice. Other metals that are solid bodies with BCC lattices are alpha iron, chromium, niobium, molybdenum and tantalum. Since the BCC lattice has to share the atoms of the cube corners with the adjoining unit cells, it consists in total of two whole atoms. VU, the volume of the unit cell, is calculated as A to the power of 3. VA, the volume of the atom, is calculated according to the well-known formula for determining the volume of a sphere. The packing density P that is the volume filled by atoms within the unit cell is calculated by multiplying the number of atoms, n, in the unit cell multiplied by the volume of the atom divided by the volume of the unit cell times 100%. Since the body diagonal equals four times the atomic radius, A can be expressed by R. Due to this, we obtain R to the power of three in our calculation for the volume of the atom as well as for the volume of the unit cell. Thus R to the power of three cancels itself in the calculation for the packing density. A equals 4 divided by the square root of 3 times r, which results in a packing density of approximately 68 
percent. In addition to the eight atoms located at the corners of the cube, the face-centered cubic lattice consists of one atom in the center of all six faces of the cube. This is why it's called face-centered. The face-centered cubic lattice is also called a copper type, since copper is a metal with an FCC lattice. Other metals that are solid bodies with FCC lattices are gamma iron, nickel, cobalt, silver and gold. Based on the same formula used for the body-centered cubic lattice, we obtain a packing density of approximately 74% for the FCC lattice. In the case of the hexagonal closed-packed HCP lattice, a hexagon with atoms at its corner and in the center of the face forms the base and the top area and between the base and the top there are three additional atoms. Although this configuration is called closed-packed, its packing density is equal to that of the face-centered cubic lattice, which is approximately 74%. Magnesium is one of the most prominent representatives of HCP lattices, which is why we also talk about the magnesium type when describing hexagonal closed packing. Other representatives of hexagonal closed packing are zinc, titanium, zircon and tellurium. If we take a look at the classification of metals according to their crystal structure, we will notice that all metals that will be of interest during our video series exhibit either a body-centered cubic, a face-centered cubic or hexagonal closed packed crystal structure. Some metals appearing in the following table have more than one type of crystal structure. Such metals that apparently can be present in different modifications are called polymorphic. All these crystal lattices are perfect crystals with an invariable, exact, periodic structure of identical components. In contrast, real crystals are characterized by numerous lattice defects that disrupt the exact periodic structure. Lattice defects can impact the material properties in a positive or negative manner. Since most of these defects are intentionally or unintentionally included in the processing or in the further processing of materials, knowledge about their impact on material properties is of great importance to the engineer. According to their form, lattice defects are divided into zero-dimensional or point defects, one-dimensional or line defects, two-dimensional or surface defects and three-dimensional or volume defects. We will have a closer look at these defects in the following. Zero-dimensional lattice defects have the dimension of a single atom and therefore are limited to one single lattice point. There are three non-types of zero-dimensional lattice defects vacancies, interstitials and substitutional. Vacancies are lattice sites where an atom is missing. The concentration of vacancies increases exponentially as the temperature increases and increases up to the melting temperature by about eight orders of magnitude compared to room temperature. At the melting point the concentration is that high that around 100 million vacancies per square millimeter can be found at the lattice plane. Interstitial defects are formed when the atoms are not located at the lattice points, but in between them. A Frankel defect, named after the Russian physicist Jakov Ilyich Frankel, occurs when an interstitial atom is created because an atom leaves its normal lattice point which thus creates a vacancy. Since all types of atoms are either larger or smaller, foreign atoms would also cause lattice defects. If foreign atoms occupy normal lattice sites, which means they have replaced atoms in the matrix, they are called substitutional atoms. In order to selectively influence material properties, 
larger amounts of additional types of atoms are dissolved in part in the lattice. These, however, are rarely lattice defects, but so-called mixed crystals. We will talk about this topic later on. We will deal with the topic of interstitial atoms in more detail when we take a closer look at carbon absorption in iron lattices on the topic of steel. Although we have already learned that the packing density of the face-centered cubic lattice is higher than that of the body-centered cubic, which means that the free lattice volume is smaller, this also means that the few vacancies present in the lattice are larger in the body-centered cubic lattice. Because of this, face-centered cubic gamma iron can include a hundred times more carbon than body-centered cubic alpha iron. Thanks for watching.